In this video we will look on such package manager which is called pnpm and compare it with yarn and npm. As you can see here I opened the official website of pnpm and here you can directly see the motivation of creating another package manager. And actually as always when we are talking about package managers we are talking about speed of installation of all packages, correct way of caching them and saving disk space. And actually here they are trying to do both and to make it better than npm and yarn. And actually regarding a free space this is entirely true, for example yarn takes lots of space when caching all modules and every single time when we are installing a dependency of dependency it creates a new copy. So the most important difference between npm and yarn which are working in a similar way and pnpm is that in npm and yarn you have a flat structure of all modules where you are just copying every single dependency again and again. It is not working like this inside pnpm which leverages hard links and soft links. And here is a great example to understand how pnpm is working. For example we have our node modules 3 and inside we are installing two dependencies inside our project which is package foo version 1 and package bar version 1 which is not the dependency of our project but the dependency of package foo. In this case here inside our node modules we won't have any packages, they both will be installed in this hidden directory .pnpm and here we are getting these two modules, module bar and module foo. The next step here will be that our foo dependency will be symlinked to our bar dependency, this is exactly this line, which means our foo referencing bar inside pnpm folder. And then after this we are creating a direct link for foo dependency inside our node modules just that the whole package system is working like we typically use it. But essentially this foo package is not lying here, it is lying directly inside pnpm and it is just sim linked here on the outside. Now let's look on the real example how it is working. As you can see here I have a React application which was generated by create React app. And here is how our application looks like. We have here an input, we can type something, add user and we are getting our user. We can even reload the page because this data are stored inside the API and we are getting this data again. But as you can see here inside my project I am using just npm, this is why here we have package log and package json. And this package log file is exactly the log file where we are logging all dependencies inside npm. But if we will look inside node modules you can see the flat structure of all modules that we installed, which actually means all our dependencies of dependencies of dependencies are here as a flat hierarchy. Our first step to start using pnpm we simply need to install it on our machine and we can do it in different ways, here is the installation part inside pnpm website. And actually the easiest way to install pnpm is simply by using npm itself. We can simply jump inside our console and write npm install globally pnpm. After installation we can just write pnpm minus minus version and you must get some output. In this case you know you successfully installed pnpm on your machine and you can use it inside your project. Now we could really just remove the log file inside our project and just run pnpm install but there is a pitfall here. We will install all our dependencies which are not logged just from the package json. And this is not the best approach for the existing website because all dependencies of our dependencies inside project won't be logged which means they will be updated and your project might stop working. This is why the better approach will be to migrate from npm to pnpm and for this we have a command, this is why here we can write pnpm import and this will migrate our log file from npm or yarn to pnpm. As you can see here this command was successfully done, we are getting some red stuff but it still will work and inside our project we can see not only package log json but also pnpm log yaml and this is exactly the file of pnpm to manage all our dependencies. And now we can just use pnpm to install all our dependencies instead of npm, this is why here we can just write pnpm install and hit enter. 
Now let's remove all our node modules that we have and install all our packages through pnpm. So I am writing here remref node modules and pnpm install. As you can see everything is done, now let's check what we have inside our node modules folder. As you can see here we have much less folders. Actually these are all folders which are just dependencies of our project, we don't have any dependencies of dependencies like we had this previously. And now the most interesting part will be to look in some package. We can open here for example React dependency and here we have node modules. But when we are opening node modules here it is empty. How it is working at all? Just like we saw in the website in the example, I need to check here a hidden files and we have this folder which is called .pnpm and inside this is where exactly all our dependencies are lying. They are not inside root, they are just symlink there. And as you can see here we are getting directly the version of the package which was installed. And now as you can see in the console I restarted the project with all packages which were installed by pnpm and it is still working. I can just add here a user and we have it inside our list. Which actually means after migrating to pnpm it is still working. Now the question is, is it really worth it to use pnpm and is it faster than npm or yarn? Because essentially for every single developer it doesn't really matter what we have inside known modules folder, what matters is the speed of installation and caching. And actually here is the official website of pnpm with some benchmarking between npm, pnpm, yarn and yarn version 2. And actually I thought that pnpm will be a little bit biased because they are publishing benchmarks on their website and they want pnpm to look good. But if we are checking here realistically, I don't see really a huge difference between all three package managers. As you can see here we have different ways of installation, but essentially in everyday life we have just three variants. We either have already installed our node modules and cached them on the computer, or we didn't install node modules and didn't cache anything and we simply install everything from scratch. Which actually means this line will be our initial installation. Why is that? Because we already for sure have a log file because we typically have it inside the project. But we don't have cache and we don't have node modules. Let's look on the benchmarks. We have 15 seconds npm, 16 seconds pnpm, 10 seconds yarn. 27 seconds yarn. The real difference here is that yarn version 2 is a little bit slower, but realistically between for example pnpm and npm I don't see that much difference. Another possible variant on your machine you have cache, log file and node modules. In this case here we have npm 2 seconds, pnpm 1 second, yarn 1 second. Obviously inside huge project these numbers will be bigger, but it doesn't really make any difference to use one package manager or another. Also I heard from a lot of developers that they have less bugs with pnpm compared to yarn or npm. But from my experience I didn't see any significant difference. So what package manager you should use, this is up to you. And actually if you are interested to learn what is the difference between npm and npx command, make sure to check this video also.